hi guys welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be installing the St. Mossy flush mount chandelier I am so excited because I've been wanting this now for a couple months and my husband purchased it for me for Mother's Day I am so grateful because my room now looks amazing the first step we're doing is just taking some of the items out of the box so that we can see everything. We're going to be removing the bolts and removing the entire base. Now, you guys, it took us so long to figure out how to remove this freaking light fixture. I eventually Googled it and we decided to try a shoe to loosen it up and it worked thank you YouTube next we're gonna take out the light bulbs and you want to make sure that there isn't any power going to the particular room that you're going to be installing your chandelier you don't want to get electrocuted. So I made sure we turned the power off to the entire house. And now he's just removing the screws so that we can actually disconnect the wires. Next, you want to feed the wires through the base. And you want to make sure that it's secure. So my husband added a few extra screws that actually didn't come with the base that was with the previous mount, well flush mount that we had. Next, you want to go around and make sure every screw is secure in the wall. Now, he did go back and drill them in to make sure it was flush. Now, my son is helping hold the bottom portion of the chandelier so that my husband can attach the wires. Of course, his little arms were tired and I volunteered to help. And yes, that is the outfit that you see in the previous video I uploaded. All this took place in one day because I do not look like I'm ready, honey, to be doing no handy, dandy, mandy work. Now, you just wanna put some a few bulbs in to make sure that it works, and of course, it works. The next portion is so tedious. Each piece that you see him hanging came in a packet labeled A through D and you're basically just matching them like the photograph because they it came with a photograph that shows you exactly where to put each piece and what made this easier is that I had all I'm at the bottom holding the pieces telling him where to put them
we finally got to packet E, which had all the beautiful crystals. And of course, it showed that E was the last outer rim of the chandelier. You also want to make sure that you're wearing gloves so you won't get fingerprints on the crystal or the base because it's very hard to clean. The final step was the actual crystal balls that go on the end. They were so pretty. But they seem to take the longest to connect. I do believe the last step is to turn it on and enjoy you guys thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in another video bye